Hello and welcome to my third Duke Cannon body wash review. Today I've got my Smells Like Victory variant. Now this is sold in a 9 ounce fluid container. When this first came out, I want to say I paid somewhere between $12 to $15 for it. And uh, these days you can find it on sale now for as low as $6. Of course, I don't think that's a good sign. To me it seems to indicate that this uh, product line is going to be discontinued. That's my gut feeling. I'll post a picture of the ingredient list at the end of the video. So after five days of testing, what I can tell you is that I really didn't love this body wash. Um, the aroma is not good. This is a really cheap, awful chemical scent. It's something you'll be able to tolerate in the shower because it is a mild aroma. But once you step out and towel off, it is going to thankfully dissipate from your body right away. It also has an okay creamy lather with a really sandy <coughs> sensation. <coughs> with a really sandy sensation on your skin because they do try to uh, exfoliate a little bit, but that exfoliation doesn't work. It just feels like you're rubbing sand on your skin when you're in the shower. And uh, they leave my skin in a neutral condition after five days. One thing I will say is that this is the thickest body wash on the market. There is nothing thicker. So if you were a fan of this line of body washes, I would suggest buying a few more just to have for the future. Um, I did hear some complaints, I've read some complaints online about the pumps have stopped working on some of the bottles, so there could be a few quality control issues out there, but I've never had that happen with any of the bottles I've used, although I've also never used a bottle completely. Um, while I wasn't really a huge fan of this product line, I do like that they were willing to experiment. It was a good attempt, and uh, maybe they'll reformulate it and come back again with something better in the future. Alright, I want to thank you for joining me today, and I will see you next time.